to give my ex to you today I choose Good morning it's Tuesday the 27th of August and I trust that you got a decent cup of coffee for coffee with God this morning mm. If you have your Bibles turn to Colossians 3 verse 23 Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord and not for people. Isn't it amazing that if we realize that all that we do, the most mundane or the most important of tasks in every day, is not determined by who's watching and who's given the task to you, but that everything you do is subjected to the higher calling of who you are in Jesus Christ and the fact that God sees all that we do. And so everything that we do should be done with the best foot forward. It should be done with excellence. It should be done with, uh, with the best of intentions and it should be done with honor and with dignity. Um, remember Jesus at the age of 12, he kind of, when they went looking for him, they found him in the temple and he said, I'm about my father's business. And then he goes home and for another 18 years, he does carpentry and he fulfills the functions of an 18 year old in his parents' home. And then he only embarks on his itinerant preaching ministry and he calls apostles, he calls disciples to follow him and he, he goes out and he impacts the world and does a whole lot of God stuff. But even the 18 years and the 12 years before that, Everything that he did, he did heartily as to the Lord. And I want to encourage you. I want you to not think about who's given me this task, who's assigned this workload in this day to me, whether it's now a job function or a function at home or a function for the church or a function for a club that you belong to, whatever tasks you're taking on today, see it as assigned by God um, and carried out to his, to meeting his expectation. So doing it with excellence, doing it with, with dignity, doing it with, with the fruit of the spirit running through, coursing through you. Just before this, it talks about slaves not being people pleasers and only doing stuff when, when people are watching you and then slipping into slavery and mundaneness and just a useless existence. Um, afterwards, it says, remember that Jesus Christ is the one who rewards all that we do. Um, so subject yourself, submit yourself in your thinking, at least, to a higher calling in all that you do. And it's not just when you do church work that you're doing work for the Lord. Everything that you do is done unto the Lord. So do it with all of your heart. Do it with all of your your passion. Do it with all uh, of of what is needed for that task. And uh, people will look and say, they'll be amazed at your energy. They'll be amazed at your sense of purpose and your sense of commitment. Because at the end of the day, it's not, it is man that promotes you here on earth, but it's the Lord who rewards your life uh, for eternity. And have that kind of perspective. But, let me just say to you that if you're doing it as unto the Lord, people around you will see the passion and the excellence with which you work. And even here, you'll stand out as someone, uh, as an example. You'll stand out as someone who is passionate, someone who has a purpose in what they do. And they're not just doing a nine to five. They're not just pitching up and getting through it. They're pitching up and making a difference in it. And there's such a difference in that approach to the mundane tasks of life. So I encourage you this Tuesday, do all as unto the Lord and do it heartily. Do it with, with passion. Do it with enthusiasm. Uh, and the Lord bless you. Forgive my